Where are you guys going? We're going to Florida. Going to Disney World on vacation. No, we're going on a sojourn. A sojourn? What's that? Uh, sojourners are Christians that travel the country working uh, spiritually and physically at uh, Christian camps, Christian schools, Christians' children's homes, and uh, at Churches of Christ. And they also go to other areas. Why do you do that? It's all about working and giving God the glory He deserves. And there's something else. Watch that. We just love it. Sojourners are we, for Jesus our Lord. Sojourners are we, to carry His word. We carry the message in crowded our peace. We're serving our Master, Sojourners are we. Sojourners, missionaries with RVs. The book of Acts describes a vision that the Apostle Paul had. Acts 16.9 During the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, Come over to Macedonia and help us. Today, there are still calls for help. I am David Palman, the headmaster at Mobile Christian School. Sojourners, will you come here and help us? I'm Mark Cargill, caretaker here at Camp Watoga. We have a 25-acre Christian summer camp for kids. Sojourners, we need your help. I'm Wayne Bartley, Executive Director of Southern Christian Home. We serve many children here, and we have a large campus. Sojourners, we need your help. Sojourners, please come to Port Charlotte and help us share the gospel with our community. We would like help in learning how to bring back members who have left the church here in Glenwood and also how to better enhance our family relationships. I'm Stinson Carpenter, founder of Rainbow Omega. Sojourners, I could really use your help here at Rainbow Omega. From all over the U.S. and Canada, calls for help come to the Sojourner office to be approved by the co-directors for a sojourn. Evangelistic, evangelistic and physical, and physical sojourns are posted on these boards. Team leaders that will coordinate the sojourn work and activities are first assigned. Then, sojourners sign up for where they want to go and how many sojourns they want to go on. God is Crowley's Ridge College is located in Perilgould, Arkansas. Approximately 20% of the students are Bible majors, many of which preach at local congregations. The facilities that students enjoy have been a part of the work of the Sojourners. I'm Homer Cannon, the team leader for the Crowley Ridge uh, uh, College Sojourn this year. We're putting down laminated flooring, we're painting dorm rooms, and putting shrubbery and uh, around the new dorm they built and also we're putting down blinds. My name is Lonnie Holland and I'm the dorm parent and we cannot ever thank the sojourners enough for them coming and cleaning our dorm rooms and things of that nature and all the many things that they do to help us. I'm Ken Hoppe, the president at Crowley's Ridge College in Perigold, Arkansas. We don't know what we would have done without the assistance of the sojourners over the years. We're blessed to have them come to our campus once a year, and we hope that the relationship continues for many years. The Bible is taught at Mobile Christian School as part of regular studies. Chapel is attended daily by all. An average of 15 baptisms a year testifies to the evangelistic efforts of Mobile Christian to reach out to the 70% of the students that are not members of the Church of Christ. Sojourners do a lot of physical work, but you don't have to be a building expert to be a sojourner. Sojourners with expertise are normally with you. The work that sojourners are doing here at Mobile Christian School by enclosing air conditioners will make the campus safer. Painting in the workout room and painting the walls of the stadium will make the students feel proud to have visitors from other schools. The students appreciate the work of the sojourners. Let's show them our appreciation. Yeah. 
Sojourners are provided camping places and camping facilities for their RVs. Normally there are three to eight rigs, but sometimes there are even more. The Regency Church in Mobile is home to the Sojourners that work for the Lord at Mobile Christian School. Sojourners, thank you for all the physical work you've done here on our campus. Because of you, we can concentrate on teaching our children, three years old through the 12th grade, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Camp Maribas is in Centerville, Tennessee. I'm Charles Hardison, and I'm the team leader for this year's sojourn at Camp Maribas. The camp has asked us to help refurbish this old house. We're converting it into a cottage to be used for weekend retreats, for groups to come and grow closer to God and closer to each other. The work that you all did last year and the work that you're gonna finish doing this year and leave us to cap off at, at the Hayes House, is really going to be a blessing because it, it looks like it, it's going to answer a lot of prayers in a lot of ways. But we appreciate so much you being here. By working on camp facilities, sojourners are a part of the evangelistic efforts to convert and keep young people. Young people want to come to this place to have fun and learn about the Lord. But the actual camp um, from basically... May through August is booked every single week with a different group coming up. So you got to think there are just, you know, hundreds and hundreds of kids coming up here every week. And this place is really a blessing. Over the last three years, we've had about 13 or 14 baptisms um, just during the weeks of camp that we've done. And um, it, it would be uncertain to know the number of baptisms that have come out of, um, you know, kids being able just to come to camps up here over the years. In the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains in northern Georgia, Camp Watoga is known by Churches of Christ as one of the most evangelistic resources in the southeastern U.S. The renovation of the gym and kitchen is a major project of this sojourn. Sojourners are working with the renovation contractor to enable the camp to have a facility that would have been difficult to fund. The gym is not only for recreation. It is central to the camp's teaching and study of God's Word. At this youth retreat at Camp Watoga, Teenagers are hearing about what should really be important in their young lives. Lightning caused a fire that destroyed the boys' cabin. Sojourners pitched in to help build a new one. Since 1969, churches of Christ in the area have used the camp for week-long sessions. Sojourners work hard on these facilities to make this possible. Sojourners have helped to make the teaching of Christian values to young women and the teaching of Christian values to young men a priority. And thank you Sojourners for giving us a place or helping us have a place that these young people can learn about Christ. More, more about Jesus, more, more about Jesus, more of His saving for to see, more of His love who died for me. Mountain State's Christian home on the edge of the Rocky Mountains was built by Churches of Christ to offer Christian services to hurting children that had been placed in the home by social services. This is Ed Stokum. Uh, I'm the team leader at the Mountain States Children's Home. And we have a large list of repairs and things that we're gonna do here. We do this because we want these children to learn about Jesus Christ and to have a good start in life. Sojourners helped to raise money for the home by preparing for the yearly auction. Items this year sold for approximately $8,000. There is a lot of work that must be done to take care of the daily needs of the children. Yeah. Sorting the clothes according to size, stocking the pantry with food, and organizing school supplies are ways that sojourners contribute. I'm Randy Scow, the executive director with Mountain States Children's Home in Longmont, Colorado. We care for 18 children and we have four cottages where we care for them. We are so appreciative of the sojourners when they come and the encouragement they give our staff and our children. We, uh, there's no way we could provide or maintain our campus if it was not for the sojourners. Sojourners contribute to the work that takes place on the 155 acre farm. A sojourner's work, no matter how hard, is a labor of Christian love. Southern Christian Home is a place that sojourners love to go. The home, since 1926, 
has provided to children training and instruction with Christ-centered values. We're going into the Trent Cottage to eat some good food. Thank you, sir. With caring parents, children live in a home with rooms of their own. They eat together in a loving Christian family environment. Southern Christian Home has eight cottages that care for up to 48 children. Sojourners are helping the home prepare for a fundraising sale by sorting clothes by sizes and other items by home categories. Shoppers will pay $10 for a sack that they can fill with items. Shoppers get bargains, kids get benefits. Repairing an employee's home with a new door and repairing a family cottage with new plumbing as well as building a new handicap ramp for children with disabilities. This will give the employee and the house parents the time to carry on with the real mission, raising kids with Christian values. At Southern Christian Home, we have the privilege to showing Christ's love to our children here. Sojourners, we thank you for helping us be part of the team to fulfill that mission. I will be with thee forever and never grieve thee more. Dear Savior, I must praise thee and love thee evermore. In Eagletown, Oklahoma, Sojourners and members of the State Line Church of Christ are preparing to take the gospel to their neighborhood. I'm Larry Scott, team leader here in Eagletown, Oklahoma, working with the people from the Church of Christ at State Line. We're here trying to spread the gospel, spread God's word to those who have not heard it, straight from the book itself, as well as visit members who have not been coming regularly. Sojourners and members pick an area to cover and then pray for open hearts. Oh, hello. How are you? Just fine. How are you? Uh, we're doing fine. I'm Charles. This is my wife, Barbara. We're, uh, we're a mission work of the uh, Church of Christ. We're trying to set up Bible studies with anybody that, uh, that would like to do that. Hello. hello. I'm Charles, and this is my wife, Barbara. Hi. And we're with the Sojourners, a mission work of the Church of Christ. Okay. And we're here with uh, the State Line Church of Christ out here toward the West Otis, toward the uh, Punky Bowl. Okay. We're having a Friends and Family Day Saturday. We're having a cookout, and we're trying to get the word out to everybody that we can. Mm -hmm. And come and have some food with us. A lot of good things happened yesterday. We had two or three Bible studies, very receptive uh, people that we came in contact with. Asked her to set up a Bible study. She said, with the the treatments and stuff, she didn't know what she could, how she could handle things when she would be able to. But she would give us a call and let us know she wanted to have a Bible study. A lot of the people we come in contact with are just eager to have a Bible study, but we know they have it work and do different things, and we have to call back on them. But the, We've got a lot of callbacks to contact the people to set up a Bible study. Well, yesterday we had a study with Bonnie. She is, uh, the belief, the Seventh-day Adventist. And uh, we had a very good study. Uh, I'm not sure how much good we did, but at least we planted the word, I think. We did our duty. We told her what the gospel, we explained that to her. Sojourners are taking the gospel from the church to Eagletown. And now... Coming to the Church of Christ in Port Charlotte, Florida, members and sojourners are bringing a gospel meeting with Roger Comstock and a Super Saturday with Doug Shepard. We should tell people. Hi, we're in Port Charlotte, Florida, passing out flyers, inviting people to a gospel meeting, telling them about the Lord, inviting them to a Bible study, and offering any kind of encouragement that we can, letting them know that the Lord loves them. The Lord sent them out two by two. Sojourners are going door to door to invite people to a Super Saturday, to a gospel meeting, and to a Bible study. The classrooms are ready, the kids are signed up, and now it's time for Super Saturday. Welcome to the Outback this morning. Come on, mates, we're going to have fun today down under. Now, the theme of our classes what is a Super Saturday? A Super Saturday is a five day vacation Bible school
crammed into three and a half hours. A Super Saturday means teaching the gospel, possibly for the very first time, to kids of all ages. It also means an opportunity to invite parents who come to see them to a gospel meeting and a Bible study. Thank you, Sojourners, for coming to Port Charlotte to help us. There are other ministries in which Sojourners are heavily involved. In Glendale, Arkansas, the church has invited members and the community to attend a listening lab. Skills that will help reach non-Christians and out-of-service Christians are skillfully taught and practiced. What the listening lab is all about is bringing people back that don't come to church anymore. That's what we're about. Uh, it's, repeat, it's going after people that, uh, for whatever reason, they've decided that they do not want to be a part of this group anymore. Either they don't feel a part of the group, uh, or they just have lost interest, or someone has, they think, offended them. After teaching listening skills to those present, class members are divided up into small groups to practice what they have learned. One person acts as an observer so as to summarize how the skills were most effectively used. Practicing these skills is going to equip us to go out and help people. And what do they need? They're crying for help. We have learned in this listening lab presented by the Sojourners ways to better interact with our inactive members in a non-critical way. Rainbow Omega glorifies God by ensuring that adults with developmental disabilities have a permanent and safe home. It was founded by Stinson Carpenter, who wanted a caring and Christian environment for his own son. In 1979, Paul and Peggy Scott dreamed of a mission that would reach out to help other Christians by going to work with them at their own locations. Sojourners working at Rainbow Omega are part of the fulfillment of their dream. Sojourners don't just work hard physically. They go into the houses of the residents to visit and fellowship with them. I'm on the AD. I'm me. Hey. Do you like the Sojourners? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. We always enjoy them coming to visit us. The residents at Rainbow Omega are given ways to work. On their break, they love to be with the Sojourners. What's your name? Cliff. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Chris. Thank you every one of you from the Sojourners. Sojourners, just want to let you know how much we appreciate all the work you've done here at Rainbow Omega and been a part of our dream here. At the Red River Family Encampment in New Mexico, Sojourners take the opportunity to spread the news about sojourning to the many Christians that are gathered. When the meeting sessions end, People come to the convention center where they will see a promotional booth that is provided by Sojourners. Sojourners will provide materials and answer questions. Sojourner promotionals go to many functions where Christians gather. Sojourners sometimes preach or hold gospel meetings for smaller congregations. They may offer instructional sojourns such as how to study the Bible, marriage seminars, personal evangelism, and singing seminars. Sojourners sometimes go to help in disaster areas. Sojourners can find fulfillment by using their God-given talents on sojourns. Sojourning has given us a new purpose in life after retirement. I want to do the Lord's work, and this is the best way we know how to do it. I can help Christian organizations without it costing them anything. Because I enjoy serving the Lord and working with other Christians. I like to travel and help other people at the same time. I like doing missionary work and I don't like to be tied down to one particular place. I can continue to work and sojourn on my vacations. I'm not ready for my rocking chair and this is the way I can serve the Lord. If you are a sojourner, you know what it is like to go on sojourns with people who will love you and work with you. You know what it is like to sing with your heart with other Christians before your work day begins. You know what it is like to pray with your hand in your heart in the grasp of another Christian. You know what it is like to attend worship with a team of people that have purposes just like yours. 
You know what it is like to say, this was a 10 pound sojourn. You know what it is like to have fun with Christians after you've worked with them all day. You know what it is like to be so close to other Christians that you want to be bound together in Christ in a way that will never be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with chains that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with love. There is only one Lord, there is only one King, there is only one body, and that is why we sing. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with chains that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with love. Maybe you would like to know how to become a sojourner. Talk to a sojourner. The person that introduced you to this video would love to talk about what they do and why they do it. Call the Sojourner office at Camp B. The phone number is 903-935-5742. There will be someone there that can tell you all about becoming a Sojourner. Check out our website at sojourning.org. Look under the heading, Join Us. You can get an application to become a Sojourner by emailing the Sojourner office at office at sojourning.org. The National Evangelism with Sojourners, or Sojourners, is a ministry of members of Churches of Christ and is under the oversight of the elders at the Burleson Church of Christ in Burleson, Texas. Become a Sojourner and attend one of the many Sojourning workshops. Camp B in Marshall, Texas is the headquarters for Sojourning and holds a two-week workshop in October. The Florida Workshop takes place in February at the Central Florida Bible Camp in Eustis, Florida. The California Workshop at the Church of Christ in Oakdale and the Washington State Workshop at Delano Bay Christian Camp in Lake Bay alternate each year, both of them taking place in May. The OVU Workshop is annually held in June at Ohio Valley University in Parkersburg, West Virginia. The Sojourner Workshops are all about worship, training, fellowship, and signing up to go on sojourns. Sojourners, missionaries with RVs, go all over the United States serving others and giving God the glory. Join us. Become a Sojourner. I'm Karen Langston. And I'm Jeremy Langston. We're house parents at Southern Christian Home, and when we grow up, we want to be sojourners. Yeah! Woo!